queues within Education City, be it morning time or afternoon. The traffic congestion delays, bothers, and frustrates everyone and eats up our precious time. But wait, have you not thought of its negative effects on the environment as well? Look at the number of cars on road. Do you realize the tremendous amount of avoidable pollution and resource depletion this is causing besides limiting the safety of pedestrians? This issue's impact is escalating day by day, affecting not only us as individuals, but also as a society at large. Let's have a close look at its effects on us. Morning issues. Don't even get me started on the traffic conditions. I have to leave home every day early so that I can get to school on time. And when I get delayed by just five minutes or so to leave home, I have to endure even a longer wait. The traffic accumulates really quickly. I get late unexpectedly so many times because of the traffic wait. I have to serve detention now because of it. I sometimes miss the beginning of the first lesson and it costs me a lot. Missing out on important announcements the teacher makes after school. Ah, uh, what a pain. Waiting after school for my driver who gets stuck in the traffic while I could be using my time at home doing my work. My driver has another duty shortly after he picks me up. And when I have to stay back for even a little bit of time after school, he gets delayed because of the traffic. A two minute entrance and exit gets extended to more than 10 or 15 minutes. Inhaling the dust and gas coming out of cars while I'm walking to my own car? Ugh. Oh god, the traffic jams. I can't even find parking space. It's chaotic. Besides creating problems for us as individuals, this issue is also negatively impacting the environment. Do you not want your kids to enjoy the same beautiful world we have today? We all know that exploitation of transportation in form of excessive and avoidable usage results into resource depletion besides emissions of pollution causing gases like carbon dioxide, oxides of nitrogen, and oxides of sulfur. If everyone thinks that someone else is going to take the responsibility and nobody actually does, then our environment is sure to be doomed. Don't we owe a responsibility towards our environment to eliminate at least the avoidable resource depletion and pollution? As an informed, elite, conscientious, and educated community, it is a glaring example of hypocrisy when we talk about the environment and simply ignore the factor that contributes significantly to the damage of the environment, while it can be controlled by each one of us. We have to be a role model of responsible implementation when we talk about the environment and use the word green. We have to attend to this problem. Each and every one of us should take a part to make this change, be it by carpooling or by petitioning to get a bus system or even to get a better EC train. Our little contributions can help us go a long way in conserving the planet's beauty even today and to make EC a safer and less congested place. Visit our Facebook page on www.facebook.com slash ITSEC1597 to vote for the solution that you think is the best. And also visit our website on www.wix.com slash isha1597 slash one to know more about this issue. Thank you for your attention.